Hey my scrappy friends, how are you guys doing today? This is Hannah with you and today is our party Friday and I am doing some mixed media. This piece of white cardstock has some gesso already on it and I actually used a, like a credit card to get that on there and I'm using clear gesso. The brand of gesso that I like to use now is the Art Basics and that's by Finnabar and they have clear transparent gesso that looks like a creamy white and then when it dries it dries clear and it is not gritty. So if that is something that you've had in the past like the grittiness has been a problem and you want to try something I would try that because I really like it. So I took a whole bunch of different acrylic paints and I'm adding water to it now Normally, I, especially on like a regular art project, you wouldn't just necessarily want to add water to your paint because it's not really going to stand the test of time. <laughs> but on a layout, a little bit of water can kind of help create this watercolor feel, which is what I'm trying to do. I really want this drippy look because my photos are one we were near the beach which you can't see the beach in it but um also it's with water and i really wanted that light springy feel because in the mood board i was very much inspired by the picture of that says i think it says hello march or hello spring and it has a picture of like a daffodil or something some like yellow flowers. So that was my inspiration and I really wanted to kind of have more of this spring feel and I know a lot of this mood board has green in it and I didn't use green but I find that seeing people use different elements of a mood board or an inspiration piece that maybe was different than what it originally looks like is it's helpful for me to see how you can use a piece differently than everybody else. I mean, you'll notice that all throughout this week, all the ladies have been doing a lot of more green or um, a lot more spring feeling. And not that mine doesn't feel like spring, because it does. And you'll see I'm adding, these are the papers that I picked out that I feel go with kind of what I'm looking for. They're not overpowering. There is some of that green in my photo. So I'm really kind of playing um, the floral that I picked made me think of or the reason why I picked it because it made me think more of that floral piece in the picture in the mood board picture so right now I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to layer my photos because I know I don't want them to be smack dab like back to back kind of like I know I see Shamel do it a lot she'll just like bump them up right next to each other and I don't like that as much I really like to see the different lines of um, the multiple photos when I use more than one. I find that this is a way that I can use multiple photos that it doesn't bother me as much. Um, as you see, I'm kind of adding my <laughs> my glue underneath because I really don't want to move my photo because I figure that's where it's going to be. Of course, I should have edited this out, but that's okay. It gives me a chance to talk, right? <laughs> Uh, so this top photo is going to be on pop dots and this is going to help also create that those two layers where they kind of meet together just kind of elevate that up just a little bit and so now I'm going to work on the layers I really wanted to use that wood grain because um, we're near the beach so it gives that light beachy feel also this paper has, has been in my stash for a while now and it's a it's an older paper it's from Oh my gosh, it's like the recorded collection, I think. I want to say it's an Ellison Craft or Craft uh, collection. I want maybe Webster's Pages. Um, but I am, but anyway, but I really like that light sandy color and it kind of reminds me of the beach a little bit. So it's going to help bring this and make it feel a little bit more spring-like with the light colors and plus also in the mood board if you notice there is some wood grains so that kind of helped bring, ties in a little bit more of the mood board I guess um, and so here I'm working with this floral and I really want some of it to stick out and so I'm trying to figure out exactly where I'm gonna put my photos 
um, I want to be able to see the background, but I don't mind that a little bit that a lot of it is covered up as long as you can kind of see those those watery marks, see that it's just kind of flowy and stuff. That's it's not that big of a deal that I'm covering it up. Sometimes I want it to show and sometimes I don't mind. So I guess it just depends. And I know for a lot of scrappers, they feel like, you know, hey, I worked so hard to do this background. I really wanted to show. And that's fine if that's how you really want to do it, because really it is nice when you can showcase a background that you do yourself. For me, I wasn't I don't mind for this instance. I really felt like having both of these photos on my layout was more important than um, keeping this background. And I think it helps tone down the background. It is pretty busy. It is There's a lot going on, but with these layers that are pretty subtle, I picked most of them actually, and I decided not to use that one from Pink Paisley. That was from the Citrus Bliss collection. I thought that it might go a little bit with like the gray in the the water fountain and stuff. <laughs> Don't ask me why I think of these things. Like who cares if the gray matches the watercolor fountain gray, the shininess, but you know, I think like this sometimes. So I thought that maybe it would work, but it really didn't. And I just was a little too many layers, but I really liked the layers that I picked. They're not too super bold, a stripe, a little, you know, that floral, and then that diamond, by Pink Paisley has the white and it's just really small diamonds. So I had f found this um, cut apart from the 6x6 pad on the Maggie Holmes. It says collect beautiful moments and I really wanted to use that. And then when I placed it on my son's head, I was like, hey, this looks really cool. I don't generally cover much of my photos and this is quite a bit covering quite a bit of that photo, but I really feel like it's most of his head. You don't really need to see a whole big, like what I really want you to focus on is the fact that his lips are near the water. And so it kind of points your eye in a little bit more. So I kind of like it. And then I added the four underneath because he's four. <laughs> I actually had no idea what I was going to do with these numbers. So I kind of like that I'm using a seven near my daughter and a four near him. It'll help get rid of two of those numbers. I had two hacks of these pink paisley um, ephemera pieces, which I love a lot of them. Just the acid or those acetate numbers kind of threw me for a loop because I don't use numbers on my layout very often. So, so now I'm just kind of working on a little bit of layers on the side. I don't want too much. I found that um, Chamel circle with the pink that says giving the, oh, what does it say? Let's say giving new things a whirl. And the photo is really about <clears throat> My daughter Leilani is at this age where every time, or at this a weird stage where every time she sees a water fountain, she has to go and drink from it. Like it doesn't matter if she's thirsty or what, but she has to. And so both of them, of course, because she was drinking from it, he wanted to drink from it. So both of them had to drink from the water fountain. And so I decided that I was going to get some close-ups, and I really love these photos. They're just nice and fun, and you can see the water dripping from their mouths, and ugh. It's one of those moments that, you know, yeah, it's not really like the super story, but it's something that I hope that I can look back at when they're older and be like, oh yeah, I remember those moments. These are the moments that I want to remember, these little tiny details. And so I just added a few little things. I added some of some chipboard hearts in the colors that are similar to the background and some Maggie Holmes stuff, those puffy sticker things. And so here is my layout. I really love how it turned out. It's super simple, but I think it really just matches that nice and spring feeling from the mood board. And it just has this fun element to it. So I hope you guys are having a great week this week and have been getting a lot of inspiration out of all our videos. And I hope that you'll join us tomorrow for Scrap Lift Saturday. I will see you guys later and have an inspired week. Bye.